Hello everyone, it's the 15th of the month, which means it's time again for another Dawn and Christine stash busting session. And uh, this month I chose the prompt, which was to use uh, our scraps to make five cards. We could use any die or any stamp set. Well, I mean, you know, so not just one, but as many as we want. Uh, but we could only use uh, scraps of paper. Um, so we couldn't use, uh, you know, printed ephemera or anything like that. We had to make everything with just with our scraps. So, um, so I've already made four cards uh, before I. Um, well, when I was putting the things together, I, I had enough for nine cards. So I thought, well, I'll make four uh, and show you what I mean. And then we'll make the other five together. So um, first of all, on my desk, these are some of the scraps that I used. So um, I pulled out big pieces because I thought, well, you know, big pieces are quite uh, handy for matting and layering and that sort of thing. So there are some scraps here which I might still dip into when I'm making the the five cards that we're going to make. I've used scrap card to um, stamp on some sentiments and you can see you know use packaging and uh, and then just bits of off cut of cut white card to um, to do that. Then I've used um, I've used this uh, I've used um, some of the little bits and pieces I had of Dawn's papers to make some of these. So I've just randomly put the colours together. I mean, I tried to sort of mm, put pinks with pinks and blues with blues and purples with purples. And there are more of these that um, I've, used, I've got them together for my um, for the cards that we're going to make. And then um, for the stamps, I used this stamp set, which I've used before, which is... Um, it's a lovely, uh, a lovely layering stamp. So you just uh, print out the outside and then the inside in a different colour and then the centrepiece. You can also do the leaves. So I've used that. Um, I also used, um, I also used this stamp, which is a layering stamp as well. From um, this is from Hunky Dory and it makes a long tail tit but I'm not sure if I'm going to use this because I'm not really very happy with how the bird turned out and I didn't have time to keep playing around with it so um, I might use it I might not and then for the dies I've used this one from Cocorosa which is just a, a leaf die I've used this one which is also from Cocorosa which is a, a ladybird, and then there are uh, there's a stalk, some petals, and some leaves. So I've used that one, uh, and then I've used this one, which is from Dawn's shop. This is a, a calla lily. Um, have I used any others? Just let me have a look. Oh yes, and I used this one, which is from Crafter's Companion. So a princess silhouette. Um, had this in my stash for a long time and not used it and I, I lost it in fact and then anyway suddenly I found it again so I was quite relieved so those are the, the dies that I've used those are the stamps that I've used plus the sentiment stamps so I'll quickly show you the four that I've already made so for this one I had this bit of embossed it's actually plastic um, because it came on I, I embossed some uh, sticky back I think it was foil um, glitter card I think it was and it had this plastic backing to it which has also embossed so I kept it so that I had it there amongst my scraps so I decided to use that as the base and here we've got one of those leaves and uh, the three flowers the sentiment and then I've just added some nouveau drops in that sort of corally color so that was the first one then this one here we have the um, this is the negative of um, of this um, die. Um, I backed it onto black paper and then onto this black and white paper. 
uh, and then just back the your, your on your birthday on black card as well all scraps i would say all scraps and then i added these uh, lovely little floral gems um put one in her hair and one to make a bow around her waist so that's that one this one and this one these two are quite similar so here i've used one of those um boards where i put the strips of um, dawn's paper um this is the ladybird die and with and the flower die um and this is the leaf die and i just put the sentiment hello i think and then some of those pink flowers in the center there and finally this one where again i've used dawn's papers and um another of those uh, flowers with this time at the leaf i've cut it in half and i put half below the sentiment and half above it and some more flowers and i've used this sentiment hello so those are the four i've already made now i have got the five cards that i'm going to make uh ready because i i didn't want this video to be too long and it's already how long is it already 12 six minutes already <laughs> so so let's see how we go so i i hope you know i'm not going to um it's not going to take too long right so this one so i had this this strip of beautiful paper um and i thought i had to use it i i used a similar strip to make some flowers and i think my idea is to put this here and I, here is the ladybird so the ladybird at the bottom so this is from the cocorosa die it's a, it's a very nice die actually it cuts out really well really simple to put together so there's the ladybird and i was thinking of putting three flowers here um i've only got i've got two stalks i don't know where the other stalk has gone so well, perhaps I've, as i've only can only find one stalk we'll put it that one in the middle so i was thinking of doing something like this one, two. so these petals have all got different designs on them so there are six um petals in the set but um yeah and they've all got different different designs so so for example one there maybe this is upside down i'm not sure that i'm in shot um another one two three four five and six so it makes actually it does actually make quite a big flower um something along these lines i'm doing this like this because i i just want once i'm happy with the thing i'm going to stick it down don't want to have to keep you know um, rearranging it so put it like that it's two and then this one two three now this one's only got five petals for some reason or other i don't know if that's because i've lost one or because see nothing under there i found the other stalk i don't think i'm going to use it so okay so we've got a five petal flat anyway so let's start off by sticking this down and i'll i'll cut off the excess um at the end once i've got everything else uh, sorted i've had great fun um with this this challenge I have to say um, personally I love making something out of nothing if you know what I mean <laughs> so I love doing that um, and sort of working it through and getting my imagination going um, I really I really do like that so I'm not I'm not going to leave a border at the bottom I'm just going to leave a border slight border on the edge there so that's that down okay so then we're going to start with this one 
Um, so let's stick that there. I hope I haven't stuck this too close to the to the um, the card. I'm going to use this one, which is a bit deformed. <laughs> so that's three. Four, five, and six. Okay, so that's the first flower. So pretty, aren't they? And um, I quite like the effect of using patterned paper to um, die cut with. Is you actually get beautiful embellishments with them um, you know already decorated if you like you know I'm not going to be doing anything to these petals except stick them down so this is going to be another six petal flower I think they they look a little bit they look better if the petals are a little bit away from the center so that's that and now the last one and put that there It's only got five petals, so I have to be careful how I how I uh, distribute them. There we are. So that's five. Okay. So that's that. Now I want to put the um, the ladybird on. Um, so I cut this out actually out of navy blue card, and the centres of the these are cut out of the same card. Um, so I think I want to put him kind of like this. Ideally, I should have white paper underneath the wings, I think, to make the spots red. But um, I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to do it like that. Actually, I could use my Nuvo drops. I've got white Nuvo drops um, somewhere. If they work if they still work let's have a look yep so these are the pearlescent ones so they they would work quite well i think i love using nouveau drops but i do have a terrible habit of squashing them before they're dry Just uh, give that a little and then spread out a bit. And uh, maybe two, two small ones here for the, the eyes. One and two. Okay, now I'm just going to cut this off. And that will be the first card, sentiment, maybe I can put it there, happy birthday, hmm. 
don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'd put it there. So let's just glue that down. So, like so. So that's the first card. Something in me is telling me that I should put a squiggle around the outside. Uh, you know, a doodly border. Um, let's see. I think, oh, in this. Unless I put these stalks kind of like this. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Use that the stalks to do that. Oops, oops. Uh, I love this die set. Um, I've used it quite a few times, and I think you might find it, see it in another card in a minute. Um, there we are. So that's the first card. Let's move on to the next one. So this one is the ballerina. I pulled out the ballerina. Now I had this piece of um, Dawn's paper, which I thought was really pretty, and I liked the pink on it. I don't know why I cut her out in pink. That kind of um, limited me a bit, I have to say. But anyway, and I've got this gold piece here, which I'm just going to trim so that it's even. It's a bit uneven. Um, yeah. So I'm going to put this in the middle. I'm using a variety of um, card blanks. Um, I just pulled out a few. So I've got coloured ones and fancy ones and uh, and that. So right, okay. So I'll pop that in the middle. Pop this in the middle of here. Like so. And then our girl can go there. Um, so there we are. So I hope everybody's well. And that uh, probably by now, this is, um, this will be October the 15th when this goes up. Uh, we're probably all thinking about preparations for Christmas. I know some people are very organised and probably got everything done by now. Um, but I certainly haven't. So, well, I'm saying I haven't now when I'm filming this, which is still in September. But I don't think um, I will have made you know 100% progress by the time this goes up. So I'm going to do the same thing with the... Um, with the dress and put um, oh, this is the wrong one I've got an open one I was thinking why can't I get into this packet right here we are so I've got some of these here so I'm going to do the same put one in her hair and then three around her waist oops like so Like so, so kind of make a pretty, pretty skirt, and then I just put, I just put a couple, like so, there, and now I need to find the sentiment. I've got this one on your birthday, which I could cut down, and I've got hello, which I could also cut down. Not so sure that I was um, that I chose the best of sentiments to to print out. Um, but anyway, we're going to make do with what we've got. So 
I don't want this video to be any longer than necessary. Right, okay, so, so I fussy cut that out and I'm just going to stick it there. Okay, on your birthday. So that's that card done. I like it. Right, let's see what we've got for the next one. So, okay, I've got the Calla Lily here. And um, I've got this, this, um, per, uh, this is one of Dawn's paper st um, strips. Um, so I'm seeing which is the, I think it should go this way up. So I'm going to cut this off. straight I'm terrible at, at seeing whether things are straight or not um, no it's not straight I think it was right okay so my idea with this is I'm going to put this at the top and this at the bottom and this isn't straight you can see where I Cut this piece of gum. So, right. What would we do without a guillotine? I wonder. I use mine all the time. I think it's my favourite tool. Um, right. Okay. So let's get rid of that. So my idea for this one is to put it like so this like this this like that just like gap in the middle oh we might even be able to put the happy birthday in the middle oh this one i was thinking maybe let's see no i anyway and then i want to put the the lily um I wanted it to be a bit like that, I think. And then to put the lily here, it's one, two, come down a bit. Okay, I'm going to stick this down because otherwise I'll, uh, I'll just be dithering around. So this is, uh, this one you can see I've put it on some sort of textured card. This one. So, so I have a little pot with with um, white card scraps, mainly for doing sentiments on, or um, or for um, using as dimension. And that's what I used for making these strip panels. Um, Normally I would make my panels a lot bigger than I have with these ones. I I wanted to try. Okay, so I need to I need to cut that down when it's dried. Right, okay, so let's put the flower down. So as I said, this dye is available from Dawn's shop. And I thought it was so pretty that I had to get it. But I have to confess this is the first time that I'm using it. Um, does that happen to you? I, anyway, I've made a resolution that when I do collapse and things like that, I'm going to use things I don't normally use or haven't used um, just to, you know, just to make sure that I use everything that I have, really. So we've got um, this little green fellow, which goes um, at the base of the flower and then... Um, I think it might go that way. So I can pop that there. And I've got this little fellow here, which goes at the base of the other flower. So stick that on there. And then 
it sweet? It's a lovely, a lovely, um, lovely little die. So take it all this, pull this up a bit, pull that down. So that's that. And then there are these little green fellows, which you can put on the on these stalks, so like like buds buds coming um, I've lost one of the ones I cut out so I'm going to cut this one in half and we'll put one on each end one there and one here yeah. So that's my um, that's the card. Let's let's cut this off. I just have to put the sentiment on. Um which might be a hello. Or it might be happy birthday. I quite like that happy birthday. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. Put it there. So I'm sure Dawn will smash this uh, this challenge. Um, she's amazing. But I'm doing my best to smash it too. <laughs> now I'm just wondering whether any of these pink gems might look nice on here. I think I might just put three here in the corner just to give a bit of something else and there we are so that's my next card so that we've done three let's keep going this is the fourth one okay so for this one i've got one of the panels okay i've got i've got Right, I've got a piece of cardstock which goes quite well with it. Um, just going to make sure this is straight. Okay, so I think the idea was to do something like this. Not sure if it's this way round or the other way round. And then I've got this leaf that I've cut out, and then I've got some of those flowers. I'm just going to dot around like so. Something like that. So let's get down, let's stick this down. This will be a nice quick and easy card. Oh, yeah. I hope I want this piece of card where that glue went. Okay. So right, the um, the narrow tip has come off. So anyway, perhaps it's not a bad thing for this piece of card. I'll stick, I'll stick it on again in a minute. Right. So I just want it slightly offset. Let's stick this back on and stick this down. I love this die. Um, it's uh, you know it's uh, it gives lovely leafage with um, a, a nice size. You know, some leaf dies are are very small, aren't they? This gives a nice big one. And as I said, I got this from Coca Rosa. And there will be a link in the description box to, to Coca Rosa using my affiliate link. So if you want to order anything from them, you get 25% um, off um, using, a, using the code that will be there in the description box as well. Um, 
they've been very good to me, I must say. I've done quite a lot of collaborations with them and I uh, love their products. Right, so let's get this one here and then we've got this one. And you can see that I've used the front of a design um, paper. It's coming off again. Um, to do cut, to stamp and cut these out. Okay, something like that. And now, I think there's room for on your birthday up here. Yeah, we're just going to cut it down a bit. It's dangerous me doing this without the trimmer, but anyway. So I'm not very good at cutting straight. Anyway. On your birthday. Okay. So I can go there like that. Yes, I like that. And I'm going to get out some more Nouveau drops, I think, to decorate this one up. On your birthday. And I'm thinking I'd like something that colour if I've got it. I don't I don't know if I have. Let's have a look. I've got I've got this one which is soft mint. I might do. Um, I don't think I've got anything else now. And I don't want to use pinks and purples, so let's try. Let's put some of these around. One, two, three, maybe just three of those. And let's give it a little tap to help it on its way, to round it up a bit. So there we have card number four. And the last one is where's the last one? Oh yes here we are this is the last one now you may have seen the video where i um where i was um what was i doing <laughs> recovering a lap a lap tray and i decided that maybe i'd like to put washi tape around the outside and then i decided i didn't want to do it well the bit that i'd taken off uh, i stuck it here so this is like three strips of the washi tape and so I wanted to find something that went with that and I thought perhaps that this this paper does go with that and then I've got um I've got the flowers also got some of the leaves um maybe to put it put them in a in kind of circle semicircle something like that and then maybe the big hello that's what I'm thinking so um, let's stick this down um, I am going to stick it right to the edge so I will be covering up quite a bit of the washi tape but I don't mind that and okay so that here let's take this off it's, it's, it's desperate to come off I don't know why um, I think it's probably the bottle is getting towards the end of the glue. So it puts a lot of pressure on the from the outside, probably blows it off. If you know what I mean. So let's uh, stick this down. So I'm really happy to have got rid of a few scraps. I do hate throwing things away. But um, when I was looking through my scraps, I thought I have to I have to throw quite a lot of these scraps away because you know <laughs> I'll be fair, here forever trying to use them up. Okay, so I thought of putting the hello. Just going to cut cut it as small as I can. Um, just leave a little, a little bit of an edge. And again, I've used that same card stock packing to stamp on this one. So we put that there and then we're going to start sticking the flowers down. So 
Okay. And maybe if I put this one here, then I put the other one in the middle. Yeah. Put this one in the middle. Like so. Put a leaf. A leaf here. And you can see I didn't use very nice greens to stamp this out, but anyway, it was the best that I could do in the circumstances that I found myself in. So that is that. Stick that back on there. And there we have it. So I'm going to put some of those pink, pink gems just on the hello, just to, just to, um, I don't know make it more um i don't know break it up a bit i think like so so there we are let's tidy this up this away. This away. sorry for bashing the camera right okay so so let's bring in the cards that we've made let's get rid of the things that we haven't used so we've got this one this one see though they're, they're rather pink these ones there's a pink thing going on and then there's a, a corally color going on and then this one so so i hope you like what i've made I'm quite happy with them, I must say. Um, do you have a favourite one? Is there anything you would have done different? Differently? <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching. Take care. Do go over to Dawn's channel and see what, what she does with her, her five cards. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.